child pornography. This is a problem that almost no one wants to talk about, but yes, we need to solve it. This issue is so toxic that it is affecting the people in this video, it is affecting the people watching these videos and it is even affecting those who are trying to manually moderate these videos. We are Hash Pragma, we want to solve this problem and we want to ensure that nobody is exposed to this. If you look at the statistics here, you can see that there has been an increasing trend in the number of such videos being uploaded every year. The most appalling thing is why are such videos being allowed to be uploaded in the first place? Hashtag Ma wants to put a stop to the uploading of such videos. In the incoming years, our aim is to make this count to zero. For obvious reasons, we can't give a demo here, but this is how we work. Every time a user uploads a video, we are going to go through each and every frame. And even if a single frame contains objectionable content, we are going to flag that video for moderation. This ensures two things. One is that no video is going to be made public even for a single moment without moderation. And the moderators need to look at only those few videos which have the highest chances of containing child pornography. At the same time, we want to ensure that the people who are responsible for this are held accountable. We are storing their locations, we are storing their IP address, we are storing their zip codes, we are storing their email address, which are to be further used for criminal investigations. Our solution has proven to be effective. During our recent beta test with XHamster, one of the largest websites of this kind, we were successfully able to recognize 90% of such videos. Looking at our efforts, we are currently being backed by non-profit organizations who are trying to keep the internet clean of such things. But are we there yet? If we truly want to solve this problem, we need to go after the 16 million porn videos out there. We need to go after the 30 million videos on the social networking websites. Right now, we are here, where if you are restricted resources, we can hardly process 200 videos a day. We want to get to this point where we can process 16 million videos each up to one video size. Hence, we require the resources. The resources to scale our solution, the resources to hire the necessary skills to make our solution even better. Hence, we are asking for the investment and thus the expertise. Talking about this topic today was particularly hard but it doesn't change the fact that thousands of children across the globe are suffering because of this. We are hashtag mom, we are working on this and we look forward to our video. Thank you. Do you, want, do you want to keep it non-profit or do you want to make it a for-profit? Uh, our current idea is to expand this notion to other moderation. Let's say there has been videos of beheading, there are videos of annual cruelty, right? And people are going to social media websites to complain about them. We want to moderate, we want to automate this moderation process. But for-profit or non-profit? Uh, for child pornography, we are not going for profit. But after proving this, we are going to go for profit for the other moderation purpose. Can you explain some of the tech behind it, like how much is open source and how much is your own? Uh, as far as the open source is, con is concerned, the recognition of whether a child actor was involved in the video, that's open source. But the recognition of whether community was involved, that's open source. Okay. Okay, for talking about this and bringing it to people's attention, can you talk a little bit about your current integrations and our processes like and the timeline. Can you repeat that again? Integrating with customers and partners that you're working with, what does that process look like in timeline? Right, right. So basically we are going to have an API, not a user facing interface. Every time a user is going to upload a video, he is going to obviously have an email address to send to the website in order to upload that video. So every time he is uploading, the website is going to redirect that video to our API. 